Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Engine programming series where we write a game engine from scratch. Today I've got a fun announcement to make. The Game Engine programming series has been around for almost two years now and as you know, I've been mainly focusing on developing for the Windows platform. However, I always try to keep the platform and API specific parts of the code separated, so it would in theory be easier to expand the engine for other platforms. And that's exactly what some of you have been doing. There is a Linux implementation for opening windows, for example, and a low-level renderer using Vulkan API may also be peeking around the corner. To make this effort centralized for people who are interested in working together, I made a brand new Primal Plus GitHub repository that can be accessed by everyone. It contains the platform and API specific implementations and the aim is to just copy the files on top of your Primal repository and build it using the supported platforms or APIs. Right now, Zach and myself are contributing, but everyone is of course welcome to join and make pull requests. Zach did the Linux platform implementation, as you can see here. He also added a header for testing Linux windows. So yeah, that's the announcement, and I can't wait to see this repository grow with your contributions. I do need to make a couple of small changes to Primal Engine in order to make it possible to be used with Primal Plus. First, I'm going to give each platform their own file. So here I'll rename platform.cpp to platformwin32.cpp. The one for Linux in Primal Plus is called platformlinux.cpp. So when we copy that over, it just exists alongside the one for Windows and we don't need to edit any files. Right now, we do have some platform independent code mixed with our Windows code. Initially, I thought we could add the code for all platforms in this file together. And although that's totally possible, it would mean that we couldn't just copy the files over. We would need to edit them and that's exactly what we don't want to do. So to fix this issue, I'm going to take this part of the code out and put it in its own file, which I call window.cpp. This is in fact the implementation of our platform independent window class. Then I can simply paste this file at the end of our platform specific code by using the good old pound include. Trying to compile this now, we'll get errors and warnings because Visual Studio will compile this code twice. To prevent that from happening, I'm going to create a header file that defines a preprocessor definition and then includes window.cpp. Next, we only compile the code in window.cpp if this definition exists and is set to 1. So now if we want to add a new platform implementation, all we need to do is add this header at the end of the implementation and we should be good to go. Let me fix a couple of typos and clean up the code a bit while we are here and we are done. Okay. 
And that's it. Let me know what you think of the new repository and hopefully I'll see you soon in a new video. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you join me on Patreon, you'll get access to the code on GitHub so you don't have to type everything over from the video. Plus there are also other nice goodies and rewards exclusive to my Patreon supporters. Please use the link in the video description to check them out. I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care and happy game engineering.